there, everybody. The Lobo 10,000 here, bringing you episode four of The Randomizer, season two. Adam plays. You are today's head of household. As we said goodbye to Gamer Stew and Aquatic Dolphin yesterday. That leaves 11 contestants, and in this next challenge, eight contestants will be competing. So, this is a fun, different style. You've got to nominate eight people, meaning only two people in this house are going to be safe from this challenge. Adam plays. You ready to nominate? Because I'm certainly ready to receive those nominations. Here we go. Luigi. Dark Cyan. The two last season players are coming up. Next two people are New Vision and Zayden. Next two people are Aura and Error, meaning that at the moment Malka, Rob, Poker Zelda, and Con haven't been chosen. Two of them are about to be chosen, and they are. It is Malka and Robman, meaning that Con and Poker Zelda, you will not be competing. Poker Zelda, you haven't even competed in anything this season. You have been completely safe. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel great, you know? It makes me feel cool. Okay. That means that Con, Poker Zelda, congratulations, you're safe. Everyone else, you'll be facing this next challenge. Good luck. Because it's PvP. Bada bada bum. I'll see you guys there. Whoosh. All right, welcome to the PvP arena. Here we have set each of our players up in their own respective little cubicles. They will be facing the person right next to them in the first round of PvP. The winners of that PvP round will be safe. The losers will face a four-way duel where one person will be safe and three people will go up for elimination. Two people will be going home. So, the way this works is simple. There are a variety of weapons. Wood sword, stone sword, iron sword, and diamond sword. They represent the power that players hit their opponents. But inside those dispensers is a shield which can be used to block any attacks. And it's going to be interesting because the first person to lose 10 points of damage is out. So as you may have guessed, Wood Sword does one, Stone Sword does two, Iron Sword does three, Diamond does four, Shield stops any attacks. So, we'll start with Error and Malka who are facing each other. Error uses the shield. Malka uses the shield, wasting both of their shields. That means that they cannot defend from any more attacks. Error then uses the Wooden Sword, taking one damage. Malka uses the Wooden Sword for 1 damage. They're both at 9 health now. Era uses the Diamond Sword, doing 4 hearts of damage, meaning that Malka is now on 5 points left. And Malka only uses a Wood Sword, meaning that Era is now on 8 points. Malka is on 5. Era uses the Iron Sword, putting Malka down to 2 points. Malka uses the Diamond Sword, slashing Era down to 3 points. Era and Malka are about to attack each other again. Era uses the Stone Sword, which does kill Malka, but Malka uses the Iron Sword, which kills Era. What that means is that we're gonna launch one more sword from both of their pedestals. Whoever has the better sword is the person who survives. Era uses Stone. Malka uses Iron, which means that Era is taken out. Malka, you are safe. Era, you'll be going into the next round. We will sort out your dispenser and set it back up for the next round when that happens. Let's move on to Dark Cyan and Zayden. Same rules apply. Dark Cyan, you use the shield. Zayden, you use the wooden sword, which means that Dark Cyan, you've just blocked one point of damage. And now it goes back to fun times. Dark Cyan uses the stone sword that's two hearts of damage, putting Zayden onto eight hearts. Zayden uses the stone sword as well. It's eight hearts for both of you. Dark Cyan uses the iron sword, moving Zayden down to five hearts. Zayden uses the shield, blocking that three points, keeping him and Dark Cyan both at eight hearts. Dark Cyan, you've got some interesting stuff in that dispenser. You use, is that iron or is that stone? I believe that is stone. That's two hearts of damage. That puts Zayden at six hearts. Zayden gets iron, which puts Dark Cyan at five hearts. 
Dark Cyan uses Diamond, which does four hearts of damage, knocking Zayden down to two hearts. Dark Cyan at five hearts, Zayden at two hearts. I hope I didn't get any of those calculations wrong. Zayden does one damage, putting Dark Cyan at four hearts. Dark Cyan does Iron Sword, putting Zayden to minus one. Zayden knocks him down to one HP, but that means that Zayden, you, will be going into the next round. That means that Dark Cyan, you are safe this round. And actually, let me just mark you down as safe. Same with you, Malka. You are both safe. Error. Zayden, you are in danger. Let's move on to Aura. And New Vision. New Vision you use. Diamond Sword. That's four hearts of damage. Will Aura pull out the shield? No, it's a stone sword. So that means that Aura is now on six hearts. New Vision is on eight. New Vision uses his attack and uses a stone sword, which would put Aura down to six hearts. No, wait, no, it would put Aura down to four hearts, sorry. But Aura uses a wooden sword, knocking New Vision down to seven. So it's seven, four right now. New Vision has the advantage. Uses a wooden sword, knocking Aura down to three. Aura uses a diamond sword. Seven hearts down to three. They're both on three hearts now. This is intense. Wooden sword, two hearts. Iron Sword, three hearts, new vision, out of this. Aura stays alive. And now finally, Luigi and Robman. Luigi, Robman. Here we go. Robman, you use Stone Sword. Luigi uses Wood Sword. That means that we are on eight, nine, nine, eight. Robman uses Stone Sword, which would put Luigi onto seven. Luigi uses Wood Sword, so it's now eight, seven. Oh, what a hit! That would go down to six, five, four, three for Luigi if he doesn't pull out a shield. But he uses an iron sword instead, so that is three for Luigi. Robman goes down to five. Five, three right now. Robman uses a wooden sword, that puts Luigi down to two. Luigi uses a diamond sword, which puts Robman down to one. Robman uses an iron sword, putting Luigi in minus one. And Luigi does diamond sword, which does more damage putting Robman into like minus three, meaning that Luigi, you are safe. And you know what? Robman, error, Zayden, New Vision, that was a poor performance. You're all going up for elimination. We'll see you guys back at the studio in a moment. Bye. All right, guys, we are back at the studio. Seven people safe. Pokazelda, Aura, Adam, Dark Cyan, Conqueror, Malka, and Luigi Spanish all safe. Era, Zayden, New Vision, Robman, you're all up for elimination. Two of you will be going home. Seven votes to evict. That means if you get three votes, it's a majority. And we'll find out how it all falls at the end, because there's four of you in seven votes, so it's uh, pretty intense. Poker Zelda, you'll be voting first. And Poker Zelda has voted for New Vision. Or Gamer has voted for Zayden. Adam Plays has voted for... Error. Dark Cyan voted for... Zayden. Conqueror voted for... Error. Malka, Luigi, you are the only people left to vote. Malka, take a vote. You voted for... Zayden, meaning that Zayden is definitely going home. Here is where things get interesting. What this effectively means is that the person who has received no votes thus far, Robman, you are safe. But depending on who Luigi votes for, either Error will go home or there will be a tie between New Vision, meaning that our head of household, Adam Plays, will have to break that tie. So, let's see what happens. Luigi has voted for... Robman, which means that by a vote of 3 to 2 to 1 to 1, Zayden and Error, you guys are going home, Zayden. You are in 11th place with the most votes to go home. Bye. Error, second most votes to go home. I'm so sorry. You just missed out on the finale. Not the finale. You missed out on the final nine. Sorry. Goodbye. New vision. Robman, congrats. You're safe. You're still in this game. But neither of you are head of household because at the final nine, it becomes an individual game. Let me just get rid of Zayden quickly. We need to remove him from the game. We also need to remove error no username from the game. They are gone. What that means is that orange, brown, green, red, 
light blue, cyan, magenta, black, and gray, light gray remain. Dark Cyan and Luigi Spanish both made it to this point in their season before. Could they sneak up and win again? We'll find out in the next episode of The Randomizer, where we play the classic Ladder Endurance. I'll see you guys then. Bye!